Welcome back to Hills to Oceans. Uh, today we're going around Elk and Beaver Lake. It's a, it's a 10k loop. Um, it was originally supposed to be a group hike, but um, due to unforeseen circumstances, it's just me today. But this is kind of the view from Beaver Lake here. It's a nice area for picnics or swimming or whatever. But um, yeah, so I'll just kind of keep you in the loop as I walk around it today and uh, I hope you have a good time watching. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be following this uh, red uh, trail all around Elk and Beaver Regional Park. Uh, usually takes people about two hours to do 10k. We'll uh, see, see how we do. So, I believe we're still in Beaver Lake at this point, but we uh, we made it to where the rowing club is. Um, the Canadian Olympic rowing team actually used to practice here. I'm not sure if they still do, but we got a pretty nice facility and lake to practice in, so not sure why they would have switched if they did. I think I heard something about that, but never knew 100% one way or the other but uh yeah it's a nice little open bit again um access to the beach but not many people swim in this area as far as I'm aware started um so the beach is just up there and i guess it's high tide on a lake because normally this is all sandy and then it continues along for quite a ways but it doesn't look like there's too much going on today because it's still spring or whatever um but I, this is what's known as Hamsterly Beach. Um, played here many a time as a, as a child. But um, yeah, it's a nice little beach area. Um, beautiful view all around everywhere. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful trail. Downfall waiting to happen She's overreacting He can't take this state of mind She breaks all his bones Then leaves him at home She's closed up his open mind She's done with so as we walk by it, here's the boat launch. Um, this is where all the boats for water sports or fishing or whatever get in. Nice little parking lot for them. But yeah, I've used a few times to go like water skiing and stuff. It's pretty fun. But this is also where a lot of people park to go to uh, Bear Hill. Which is a hike that's basically just across the road from here. It's a nice little hike. <sighs> well, this definitely started as a hike, but now it's more of like an intermittent running and speed walking. 
Um, I haven't ran a 10K either in a very long time or ever, so I'm just kind of taking it slowly and pacing myself, but it's been nice. He's left out to dry. He cries out his eyes. He don't think he can take much more. So we're still at Elk Lake at this point, but this is the dock where everyone goes fishing. Um, or at least a lot of people. Nice place to cast off. They've even got little holders for your rods. But uh, it's a nice place to go fishing, I'll admit that. Um, I've definitely done it a few times as a kid. Well, we got some nice fawn lows here, but uh, made it to the Retriever Ponds, which is part of a uh, just beside Beaver Lake. Um, uh, I know at least at one point there was a beaver that had made a, a lodge here. Um, I've never seen any beavers here, but they're nocturnal, so that's not surprising. But it's a cool little area, definitely worth checking out if you have the time. Um, there's a nice little trail that goes around it, but we're not gonna explore that today. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty and you'll find all sorts of uh, birds and animals around these ponds. Um, yeah. finished my 10k run slash walk um took me about an hour and 13 which isn't too bad considering i walked a bunch but maybe i'll do this again and see if i can increase my speed